you had fought in Calgary? I had, yes, I fought in 2010 uh, Muay Thai. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who did you fight? Uh, Christina James. Okay. Was it what, just tell me about that fight a little bit. What do you remember from uh, it? She was a hometown girl. It was a five-round fight. It's actually my only fight as an amateur where I was allowed to throw elbows to the head. So we had elbow pads on. Obviously, it was an amateur fight. Uh, no headgear. And it was pretty awesome because it felt like the closest to pro I was, I was going to get at the time. Have you been feeling a lot since you got here? I mean, have fans been like, embracing uh, you? I, I honestly haven't left the hotel. I just got here at 8 o'clock last night, and I had media all day. So, uh, But going off of this, uh, I think they, they left me a little bit. Uh, are you at all, is the altitude at all a concern? I mean, we're a little bit higher than normal. Here. I'm from Denver, or Colorado Springs, which is higher than Denver, actually. So we're, I think we're about 7,000, 6,000 there. I think here it's like four something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How much training did you do with Girls Dan Yunus for this camp? Just because she's the last fighter to beat Joanna. Um, enough. Not, not, as, uh, not as much as probably everybody thinks. Um, she's been, a little, she had a little injury. But I did do a lot of training with her fiance and her jiu-jitsu coach. I know there's a lot of cross training going on in Denver. I saw Shane Blissmas and uh, Heather Joe Clark training with you. How much of a luxury is that being in Colorado, having so many different looks? Um, it, it's it's nice. You know, in Springs we don't have that many, so I do go to Denver a lot. There's a lot of awesome girls: JJ Aldridge, another UFC fighter, Rose Namajunas, Heather, and uh, I flew in actually Cheyenne. I flew in Andrea KGB Lee to uh, train with me this fight camp. They are just friends, and I need some extra bodies. I know you probably don't want to spill the beans too much on what you and Rose worked on, but how much of an advantage did that give you? I don't think it's anything we necessarily worked on. It's just having her coaches be able to uh, train me and knowing that they beat you on it twice. That was, you know, just something that to have extra in my pocket. How did that come together? Did you reach out to her? Did she reach out to you? We've been training uh, previously. It just it was more in the media now because of the whole thing that I'm fighting Ioana. But uh, I've lived in Colorado now for more than a year. We've trained previously for her fights. You used to train American Top Team. Was there anyone from American Top Team that just stayed out of this fight because of the fact that you both used to train her? I don't know if there's anybody that stayed there. I have coaches that I still talk to, and, you know, uh, I, I'd say they're probably indifferent about the fight, you know, because they, Joanna is still a part of their camp, but uh, they do have love for me, and they're always going to have love for me, so they send their, you know, good wishes to me. How much different uh, mindset about Joanna now that you did beat the shoe the champion? Like, maybe it's sort of aura a little bit differently than you thought this was kind of unbeatable back then? I don't think anybody's unbeatable, you know. It comes to the point when someone just, you know, picks out their game and does what they need to do. And um, Rose did that twice to Ioana, and I will do that a, a second time, or rather a third, but the second person to do that on Saturday. Do you think she's at all different now, though, than she was then? Uh, maybe a little bit more humbler. She's been uh, quiet this camp, and uh, hopefully that's out of respect. And if it is, you know, more power to her. Do you fear at all that she made this way? She has a way strong on the last few fights. Uh, no, I uh, follow her on Instagram, and I saw she was 122 the other day. So uh, I'm sure game's on. And uh, as far as uh, you talk a little bit about training partners, is there anyone you work with a little bit more than others, aside from Mikel, uh, just as far as uh, you know, training partners? Um, usually J.J. Aldridge, but I uh, haven't really uh, got that much work with her this fight camp, uh, as usual. What do you think is next for, uh, for Rose and Carolina? I thought it was Andrade, but then she's fighting Carolina in uh, Dallas, so I don't know. Do you feel like, I mean, you win this fight, if you're right, you know, you're right in that, in that picture? Uh, I definitely see it, me being in the picture after that, yeah. Did Rose give, like, give you an idea not to uh, share too much of your personal life that when she might be able to fight again? Uh, I don't know, no. Do you feel like Joanna's lost a step? Some people feel it's that, or, or do you think it's a case that Rose just had the perfect game plan to beat her? Do, you, do I think she's lost a step, you said? No. Not the same fighter, no? Nope, uh, I think she's the same fighter, just it, it just wasn't her day those two days, you know?